Hello guys, Sandeep here, and as you can see, I have the Nexus 5X with me. And in this video, I'm going to review a ROM for the Nexus 5X, and that is pure Nexus Project ROMs because it supports layers. Uh, Fi support is present, and VO LTE is also present if you are going to use it. But unfortunately, in India, there is no Project Fi or uh, there is no VO LTE, so. I'm not going to use it, but if you are someone who is going to use it, then surely that's a very good news that they are working completely fine with the ROM. And uh, if we go into settings, you will be able to see that it is based on Android 6.0 as of now. Or whenever Android 6.0.1 or 6.0.2 comes in, I'm pretty much sure that developer will port this ROM to that version uh, because the developer is like very very active on the thread also, and the development is also going really nice. And uh, Uh, yes, Pion Excess version. As you can see, the ROM is over here, and this ROM is based on the stock ROM that we have on the Nexus 5X, and that is the reason why the ROM is very, very stable. And uh, if you are looking for a stable ROM uh, with very good features, like if we go into Pion Excess settings, then there will be many, many features available over here. Then this is the ROM you should have on the Nexus 5X because many times there are different ROMs which are not completely stable for daily use. So. uh this rom is not at all like that pion excess project rom is very very stable let's check out the pion excess settings over here and if we just slide from left you will get all the settings over here so let me just get this close so first of all let's start with the lock screen and if we go into lock screen uh lock screen shortcuts can be changed so here we have the voice google now usually but you can select different application like let's uh let's have setting option and let's have display option over here So if we just lock the phone and if we want to unlock the phone then it will go into display settings automatically. So that's surely a very good thing and you can change it from there. And yes, fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine. So as you can see, if I just do it, it will get unlocked. And the next feature is the double tap to sleep from anywhere. So let's select this and as as you can see, you just open up your phone to see the timing. But to lock the phone once again you have to press the lock button and that can be very tricky sometimes and that's a little time consuming according to me but you can just double tap on the screen and it will get locked automatically so that's surely a very good thing uh, then there are few things uh, you can set custom lock screen wallpaper if you have any currently i do not have so let's set this as the custom wallpaper so as you can see it is set as the custom wallpaper over here And if we go into notification drawer, then quick pull down is present, which is like the best feature of this ROM. And I think that all the AOSP-based ROMs and Google should implement this in the stock Android also. Like if we just swipe from the right side of the status bar, then it will show you the quick settings toggle. And uh, yeah, if you just swipe from the left, it will show you the notifications over here. And that's a very very handy feature, which should be available in all the ROMs and all the phones. And after this, let's go into status bar, then battery settings. Yes, and as you can see over here, the battery status style uh, was circles from the beginning only because I had changed it. So I like circle and percentage inside the icon, and this is one of my favorite battery status styles. And I always use this on any phone if the option is present. And uh, the next option is network traffic. And if you want the network traffic option, then you can select that. And outgoing and incoming speed of your network will be shown. and uh, yes once again a very very helpful feature let's go into status bar once again double tap to sleep from the status bar so double tap over here it will go to sleep and these are some of the synogen mod features and uh, yes this is really really nice and let's go into navigation bar now and show arrow keys while typing so that's a very helpful feature so let's assume you are typing something and let's type something which is random and if you want to go to the left side one by one then you can just press this and you can go over there so that's surely a very handy feature if you are going to use that and double tap to sleep is present on the navigation bar also so if you select this option and if you double tap over here it will go to sleep mode automatically and you can even change the dimensions of the navigation bar so, so by doing this the height of the navigation bar will become less so let's keep it normal which looks normal to me and after this now let's go into power menu show power menu on screen lock so If you do not want to see the power menu then you can disable this option and uh, no power menu will be shown so just in case if you lose your phone then the guy who has stolen the phone will not be able to power off the phone and you can just call your device or do something immediately uh, even though if you just press the 
even though if you just long press the power button for 20 to 25 seconds the device will power off automatically but let's assume that the thief doesn't know that after this now let's go into volume rocker and yes volume button wait so if you just press the volume button when the phone is locked nothing will happen but let's enable that option and if you lock the device and even if you just press the volume button the device will wake up so yeah these were the features of the rom uh, no there are few more actually <laughs> if we go into recent apps tray then you will be able to see that the recent apps that are over here are not perfect square so they are little rounded at the edges and that gives a very good look and according to me it, it looks very very good and uh, we have a clear all recent button over here so you can just clear all the applications by just one click and uh, i have installed exposed on the rom and it is working perfectly fine so if we go into gravity box then you can change different things but almost all the exposed things that you will use in the future are present in the pure nexus settings already so i don't think so that you will need any different exposed module to do that but if you are interested in that yes exposed installer is also working so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and uh, yeah let's see if we can reach triple two likes on this video so do hit that like button and if you have not already subscribed to the channel then do hit that subscribe button over here because many more awesome android related content is going to come on the channel so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching